Welcome uh, to our 11th exercise about energy storage. So uh, we got um, a system which is quite equivalent uh, to the one we used uh, for calculating the photovoltaic power generator. So it consists of a refrigerator which runs permanently during the whole day, 24 hours, with a power of 50 watts. LED lights with a power of 4 watt each, 10 pieces. They run from 6 p.m. until midnight. A TV set of 150 watts, which runs from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Then we want to know which battery type is the cheapest. So we have one option, which is consists of an automotive battery of 12 volt and 100 ampere hours. It's a, usually a lorry battery, a quite big battery which costs only 150 euro. The lifetime is relatively short. At 50% depth of discharge, it survives 1000 cycle. If you cycle it deeper, for example 70%, it only has a lifetime of 500 cycles. Output voltage is 12 volt. But I have to consider if you do the energy efficiency that the charging voltage is 13.5 volt. The ampere hour efficiency of that battery is 90%. The second option is an industrial battery that we can customize by buying two volt blocks, which are available from 200 ampere hours until 1000 ampere hours. The price is specific at 200 euro per kilowatt hour. Lifetime is much longer. It lasts 3000 cycles at 50% depth of discharge and 2000 cycles at 70% depth of discharge. Output voltage is 2 volts. Charging voltage is 2.4 volts. The same as before, the ampere hour efficiency is 90%. How much does one kilowatt hour in a storage cycle cost? In, in total, including the PV generation cost, the cost for PV electricity is 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Next part is now almost sector coupling. We use a thermal storage, um, consists of a PCM material, that means a phase change material, for example, ice. So you can freeze it and by freezing it can contain a lot of cold. So you don't need to supply any power for the refrigerator until all ice is molten. So you can generate ice during daytime and the ice gets molten during nighttime and the refrigerator stays permanently at zero degrees. So during the day, the refrigerator and the PCM are directly operated by photovoltaic at this cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And the charging and discharging of PCM is not very efficient. Here we take a efficiency of 60%. How much is the maximum price of the PCM equipment in order to be still competitive with the cheapest battery option? Lifetime of the PCM system is estimated to be 10,000 cycles. Usually the ice can last longer, but some other PCM materials often consist of paraffins and they have a limited number of cycles. So let's start here with the first part and we calculate the consumption here. Total consumption here 50 watts times 24 hours, then the LED lights 10 times 4 watts times 6 hours and TV set. 150 watts times three hours, uh, we have a total electricity consumption of 1,890 watt hours per day. So we do a battery layout. So while we are on the topics, we choose an extra day and night of autonomy. So do two days of autonomy in total. For the costs, first we calculate for this automotive battery at 150 euro for a 100 ampere hour battery, which we discharge by 50% only first. So the size necessary for 50% depth of discharge, so it's a load. Then we have to consider the ampere hour efficiency and do not forget the voltage efficiency. 
in order to get the energy efficiency because we have to charge at a higher voltage uh, than we get later so there are additional losses and these have to be considered and in total we have an efficiency of eta b times eta ampere hours so we choose this factor one divided by this uh, total efficiency times the days of autonomy for the size of the battery and divided by the depth of discharge which is 50 percent that means 0 0.5 so here we put in the numbers here, 1,890 watt hours times two for the days of autonomy. Then we have the voltage efficiency also divided by 12 volts divided by 13.5 volts. And then we have here the ampere hour efficiency, which is given at 0 0.9. And here we have the depth of discharge, 50%. So it's a factor here of divided by a factor of 0 0.5. So in total, our battery size has to be 9.45 kilowatt hours. While one single battery of 12 volt, 100 ampere hours has 1.2 kilowatt hours, we have to choose eight, more exactly 7.88 batteries, but we don't get any percentage of our battery, we only get entire batteries. So we have to choose eight batteries and that means an invest of uh, eight times 150 euro and that's 1200 euro this will last for 1000 cycles so we have here the cost this big k about the total costs for a lifetime so we have the number of cycles then the load and so on and the efficiency and as a specific cost for pv 10 cents per kilowatt hour so we have uh, 1000 cycles then the consumption here 1.89 kilowatt hours then the efficiency then the the cost for the pv uh, cost so in total we have uh, 236.25 euros that is we have to add up here so uh, this is for the the cost of the battery and this is the cost for the PV to be generated here and then we have a 1.44 euro per daily cycle or while uh, we consume less so it's only uh, for the actual consumption 76 cents per kilowatt hour the other one is per cycle while the cycle is more than one kilowatt hour so this is almost double so this is almost two kilowatt hours 1.89 kilowatt hours so now we come uh, to the calculation for 70% depth of discharge. So the same formula here as above um, and uh, we put in the number. So uh, load is uh, the consumption is still 1.89 kilowatt hours. The days of autonomy is still two. The depth of discharge is now 70%. So we have here divide by a factor of 0 0.7. Then uh, this is the same. The efficiency are still the same. So we have here ampere hours efficiency 0 0.9 and voltage efficiency consists of 12 volts divided by 13.5 volts. And in total, uh, we need a smaller battery, which has 6.75 kilowatt hours. While one battery is the same as before, it's the same battery, 1.2 kilowatt hours. Uh, we need six batteries, exactly uh, 5.62 batteries. The invest is much less because we need less batteries but it only lasts for 500 cycle. So the PV energy costs are about the same, but we only have 500 cycles. So we have 100, must be about half of it. So we have here 118.125 euro during this 500 cycle of life. And these are our electricity costs for the PV, plus the costs for the battery. These are 900 euros. In total, it costs 1,018.125 euros. That means for a day, daily cycle, we spend 2.04 euros or 1.07 euros per kilowatt hour of consumption. So you see directly, this is more expensive. So it doesn't make sense to increase the depth of discharge. Better stay at low depth of discharge here and yet 50%. The second option, now we buy the more expensive battery, the industrial batteries. Actually, we don't buy the battery, but we buy single cells, 
which are available in uh, several cells and you put them together to the desired voltage and they cost 200 euro per kilowatt hour lifetime is much longer 3000 cycles at 50 percent depth of discharge 2000 cycles at 70 percent depth of discharge output voltage is 2 volts uh, so we have to buy uh, six cells in order to get to 12 volts charging voltage is 2.4 volts ampere hour efficiency 0 0.9 so the size necessary here, the same formula as before, the load and the efficiencies and depth of discharge considered here divided in the days of autonomy. So we have here, same as before, 9.45 kilowatt hours. So for 12 volts, six cells are necessary. The necessary capacity of the cell, so there's a big C, the capacity. So that's the energy content of the battery divided by the voltage of the battery. So it's 9.45 kilowatt hours divided by 12 volt. So we have 787.5 ampere hours. So it's not really, we get any size. So we just have to go for the closest here or the, the close and bit upper because we don't want to undersize it. So this is 800 ampere hour blocks are closest here and we need six of them. So we are on the safe side. We have 9.6 kilowatt hours and this is more the necessary at costs of 200 euros per kilowatt hour we have an invest of 1920 euros and it lasts for 3000 cycles so the costs for that are 3000 times the the energy consumption and this is the efficiency of the battery then we have doing this 3000 cycle pv electricity costs are 708.75 euros in total, battery costs uh, plus PV electricity costs for 3000 cycles are 2,628.75 euros or 0.876 euro per daily cycle or 0.46 euro per kilowatt hour of consumption. So that's already cheaper than the automotive battery. Let's check the 70% depth of discharge. Same procedure. So we but need our smaller size because we I have a depth of discharge of 70%, but the battery size is a bit smaller than that. We still need six cells because it just depends on the voltage. The capacity of each cell of the battery is 562 ampere hours. So we need the six blocks, we knew already before, but we now have a smaller capacity of 600 ampere hours each. And in total, we have 7,200 watt hours. So that's more than our necessity, our requirement. So this works out. And the investment at 200 euro per kilowatt hour, 1,440 euro of investment. Lifetime is only 2,000 cycles. And here we see, if we put here the 2,000 cycle, electricity costs of PVR 472, plus the cost of the battery are 1,912.50 for 2000 cycles it means uh, we have 95.6 cents per daily cycle or 50.6 cent per kilowatt hour you see per kilowatt hour so this is the cheapest option industrial battery operated at 50 percent depth of discharge that's our solution let's come to the second part here so the refrigerator can be equipped with the PCM material, for example, ice here. And so we don't have to consider battery during nighttime. We have to just, at least for the refrigerator, we have just to consider for lightning. Uh, we still need electricity, so, so we, but we can choose a much smaller battery. So for comparison, the cheapest battery option we choose before. So this was here, what we saw and transparently before, 46.4 cents per kilowatt hour. Now we calculate the share of the consumption by the refrigerator during 24 hours. It consumes 1.2 kilowatt hours. We can power a half of it directly during daytime and nighttime. There is no photovoltaics, so we have to cover it via battery or via the PCM material. The daily cost of the refrigerator via battery is, this is the consumption if we just power it by batteries, 55 0.7 cent. This is the cost for the for the so it's a bit more because it's more than one kilowatt hour. So
So the PV electricity costs, uh, these are the costs for um, the PCM. So they just calculated the refrigerator, refrigerator with the PCM solution. Now this share, uh, the other lights we calculate later. This is the cost of PV, 10 cents per kilowatt hour. The consumption of the refrigerator during daytime and during nighttime. And we have to consider the bad efficiency to create PCM material. So we have to create ice cubes with an efficiency of 60%. So we have to divide by 0 0.6 here. Divided by half, so we need 600 watt hours during daytime and 600 watt hours during nighttime divided by the conversion efficiency and multiplied by the specific costs. We have costs of 16 cents per day, per day uh, consisting of day and night. We have now the cost of our battery, which was the original solution with the battery during nighttime. The rest doesn't change. So we just consider that part. We just see here, we only need 16 cents for that part. And so we can yet take that off. So we have 55.7 cent per day of daily cycle and 16 cents as we calculated before. So in total, we have 39.7 cent PCM. We can spend on PCM because it's just the one that's the stuff we save and we can spend it all on equipment. When it lasts 10,000 cycles, the total price of PCM may reach a maximum of 3,970 euro. It's really a lot. Usually, if you calculate it realistically, it would be some 10, 20 euros or something like this. And not water costs nothing, but maybe you have to have an extra box or something like this. So you have an absolute benefit here because uh, you can spend uh, such a, a large amount and it's still profitable. Yeah, I mentioned 20 euros should occur, including casing. So you save about 3,950 euros for that option. So that's really good idea to use this PCM. Thank you very much.